Donald Trump didn't hold back at the Al Smith dinner, delivering some of his harshest zingers yet. The former president took aim at Kamala Harris, who skipped the event, leaving no stone unturned in his scathing remarks. From jokes about Harris to digs at prominent Democrats, Trump's roast had the elite audience at times laughing and cringing. Donald Trump brought his signature style to the Al Smith dinner on Thursday, roasting Kamala Harris and a host of other prominent figures in attendance. The former president, dressed in a black tie for the glitzy charity event, used his speech to call out Harris for her absence, describing it as disrespectful to the Catholic community. The annual fundraiser, held at the New York Hilton Midtown, draws a who's who of New York's elite, making it a significant stage for political jabs. Harris, who opted to send a pre-recorded video message instead, became Trump's primary target as he questioned her decision to skip the event. Trump drew comparisons to Walter Mondale, the last Democrat to miss the dinner in an election year, reminding the audience of Mondale's landslide loss to Ronald Reagan in 1984. His digs at Harris didn't stop there. He took aim at her running mate Tim Walls, joking about the Minnesota governor's awkward missteps, including his stance on controversial social policies and his exaggerations regarding military service. The former president's remarks about feminine products in boys' bathrooms and Walls's supposed love for Turkey brought a mix of chuckles and groans from the crowd. Throughout his speech, Trump's tone alternated between self-deprecation and merciless jabs. He even acknowledged one particularly nasty joke, which referenced second gentleman Doug Imhoff's first marriage, advising Harris to keep the nannies away from her husband. The remark was met with a mix of laughter and gasps, prompting Trump to admit that he may have crossed the line. He reflected on his infamous 2016 speech, when he roasted Hillary Clinton, noting that even his own supporters felt he had gone overboard back then. The former president did not just direct his humor at the Democrats. He offered words of sympathy to New York City Mayor Eric Adams, drawing parallels between Adams' recent legal troubles and his own experience with the Department of Justice. Trump suggested that Adams' prosecution for corruption bore similarities to the way he had been persecuted for speaking out against open borders, earning a round of applause from parts of the room. Trump also took the opportunity to jab at Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, remarking on the Democratic Party's wokeness and joking that if Harris loses, Schumer could still make history by becoming the first female president. The jest was met with laughter as Schumer flashed a grin and pumped his fists in mock defiance. Comedian Jim Gaffigan, who hosted the event, didn't let Harris off the either, poking fun at her for skipping what he referred to as the Catholic Met Gala. In her absence, Harris had submitted a pre-taped video featuring actress Molly Shannon reprising her famous Mary Catherine Gallagher character from Saturday Night Live. While the skit attempted to bring levity, it fell flat for some, with Trump and others in the crowd expressing skepticism about Harris's commitment to the event. As Trump's speech came to a close, he made a direct appeal to Catholic voters, reminding them that he had shown up while Harris had not. With battleground states like Wisconsin and Pennsylvania poised to be pivotal in the upcoming election, Trump's remarks underscored his awareness of the significance of the Catholic vote. That's it for today's coverage. Trump's roast at the Al Smith dinner certainly ruffled some feathers, but did he go too far, or was it all in good fun? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe to AU News for more updates, and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop on all the latest headlines. Thanks for tuning in!